Hello everyone, my name is Dr Jo Pettit, I am a lecturer in comparative literature at the University of Kent and with Valentine's Day just around the corner I just wanted to reach out with some potential reading suggestions that would be appropriate for this time of year. And really I'm coming at this from a perspective of the classics, thinking about how classical literature has dealt with themes of love um, and lust as well. And one of the interesting texts in that respect is Ovid's Metamorphosis, which includes the original story of Pyramus and Thisbe, which was the basis of Shakespeare's uh, both Romeo and Juliet and A Midsummer Night's Dream. And this is an old text, this was written in the 8th century, um, so a long, long time ago. Um, but it tells the story of two star-crossed star lovers whose families were not friends, um, who ran off and met a tragic ending. And this is really where the Romeo and Juliet canon begins. So that could be a really uh, interesting one. Um, something also like Homer's Odyssey, which is the sequel to the Iliad, and some of you might know um, of this narrative, but it tells the story of a character called Odysseus as he travels home from the Trojan War, aiming all the time to get back to his faithful wife Penelope. And he has many adventures on his way home, it eventually takes him 20 years, but the driving force of the whole story is that drive for home, that nostos, um, as they would say. So that's another good one. Another one that I think is really interesting is taken from a book called The Golden Ass, which you're perhaps less familiar with, but it basically tells the story of a poor guy who ends up turned into a donkey and all of the adventures that he goes on. Um, but within that frame narrative is a really interesting story called Cupid and Psyche. And this is really about a woman who marries a god but that, but who betrays a certain restriction on their relationship and then has to somehow pay back, overcome some obstacles in order to restore the marriage. So that's a, a really, it's a really cool book. It's a really fun book, but I think that's a really interesting story within, within the story, um, as it were. So I hope this has given you something to, to think about and to, to start from. Um, there are obviously plenty of other examples um, of classical literature that deal with themes of love, loss, lust. But these are just three that immediately spring to mind. So I, I hope you enjoy them and I wish you all the best for this time of year. Thank you.